Thank you, Ethan, and thank you, Terrell. Um, very nice to see you both again. And there is, there is two awesome examples of how this program is making a difference. Um, it's great to be here to celebrate the national rollout of Coach Call. Um, and I can't quite believe that it was four years ago that my brother Catherine and I launched it. Um, and here we are at Lords, quite rightly, as Jason said, at, uh, at the home of cricket. I hope that you've all been able to spend some time with our amazing apprentices this morning. Um, and as you will have seen, Coach Corps is providing world-class sports and training opportunities that previously did not exist in sports coaching. The young people here today have a real chance of moving on into employment or training, and in turn will inspire thousands of, others, of other young people to take part in sport, extending the positive reach of this programme. Since 2012, Coach Corps has seen almost 100 apprentices trained in our pilot sites with 98% moving on into employment and or education. The goal is, and always will be, to provide places of employment on the apprenticeship scheme, giving each individual the best chance once they graduate from Coach Corps. We want to be clear that Coach Corps is not about elite sport. It is as much about the 14-year-olds who turn up at their local sports club to train every week as it is about finding the next Olympian or Paralympian. It is about extending the benefits and impact of sport to children and young people across the country. At the beginning of 2016, the Royal Foundation made a commitment to bringing Coach Corps to 10 cities over the next three years. And I am delighted to say that we're on track to achieve this by early next year. No pressure, guys. We have a big vision for Coach Corps and want to make it possible for young people all over the country to take part in this program. It has achieved so much for our graduates like Terrell and Ethan, and I want to see other young people have this same opportunity. To do this, we must continue to work with employers and partners in each respective region to provide more opportunities that reflect their needs as businesses and the communities in which they serve. We must harness the increasing interest from sports clubs and organizations, regional and national governing bodies, and like-minded sports charities, so that we can make it possible for young people everywhere to take part in Coach Corps. By training the next generation of coaches to put the child first and the sport second, we hope the ripple effect of positive experiences in sport are felt by their participants in their communities therefore changing lives and in turn creating a surge of sporting enthusiasts. Thank you very, very much for coming today and thank you for your continued support. Catherine, William and I are passionate about expanding this program across the UK and I hope that many of you will continue, us on this, continue with us on this journey. Lastly, to the guys in white shirts, guys and girls in white shirts, after meeting you all this morning, guys, just enjoy it have the most amazing time. I know a lot of you are, are here for different reasons, but essentially most of you want to give back and be able to, to give back what you got from coaching, which is fantastic. So enjoy it, make the most of it, uh, get on well with each other over the next year, and, uh, and I'll see you probably at your graduation. So congratulations.